What is up guys, my name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be reviewing subscriber stores and showing you what I would change. I plan on doing this at least once a month from now on because it really helped me when I was starting out. If you'd like to submit your store to be reviewed, please be sure to follow me on Instagram using the link in the description of this video so that you know when I'm making the next review video. <laughs> So before I get into it, I just want to say that this is all constructive criticism based on what I've tested and found works. For that reason, you're more than welcome to test it yourself. In fact, I encourage testing different elements because it may work differently for you. So let's get into it. This is a really unique site because honestly, it's the first flashlight related niche site that I've ever seen. And it's very clean. I like it. I would recommend making these backgrounds white just so it can fit in with the theme and it looks really clean and professional if you do that. I really like how the important highlights of the description are highlighted with a different color so it really makes them stand out and speak to the customer. I've never seen that done before in a dropshipping site and I really like it. One thing I would change is the colors of this website. Debut is a super popular theme. It's actually one that I recommend using when you're starting out, but all the debut sites, which are normally dropshipping sites, have these colors. I like changing them just because you stand out a little more and look a little bit less like a dropshipping site. I like changing my add to cart button to red because it adds scarcity and helps increase conversions. You're welcome to do whatever goes along with your website. Green will probably go along with their website because it's kind of an outdoorsy website. These safe checkout buttons are great. Those really increase your conversions and it's great that you have them. Overall, it's a clean site. There's some minor things like the backgrounds, the Powered by Shopify, which you can remove with two minutes of editing code, and the fact that there's no banner on top announcing your sale. If I were you, I would use a banner to promote the Illumination LED flashlight sale. Also, I usually change this catalog to something like products because again, it looks a lot less like a normal dropshipping site. Let's go on to the next one. So this basically just looks like a general fashion store and it really, really looks like a lot of them that I see way, way, way too often. This also looked like basically what I was doing when I first started out. The first thing I would remove is this little scroll bar at the bottom because it makes the images look kind of weird and it just, I really don't like it. The second thing I would change is make sure that all your products aren't on sale because that makes the one that you're promoting seem a lot less special. The third thing I would change is your product names. These really need work because no one's going to buy something that says high quality cat eye sunglasses, woman classic design eyewear. You really need to brand it and say something like sexy cat eye sunglasses. I don't know, it really doesn't matter, but as long as you brand the name, you're gonna do a lot better. I like the safe checkout buttons and the black add to cart button really adds a level of luxury, which I like. This, however, really, really needs to be changed. Product descriptions are huge and leaving the default overlow description is a huge no-no. You are probably not gonna get any sales with that. I like how you have a refund policy, a privacy policy, frequently asked questions, contact us about us and track your order right here clearly visible that is awesome and not a lot of people do that it's also great how you have the free shipping for orders over 29 dollars again it's in black and it gives a real luxury feel to your website that's also great for increasing your average order value again i would try to make your backgrounds white if you can honestly i would just have less products because you really just can't keep track of these especially when you're starting out I would just have maybe one or two different types of things, maybe like necklaces and rings and earrings and just promote them to a women's fashion niche and maybe you'll do a lot better. When you have less products to worry about, your website is probably gonna look a lot better. Let's move on to the next one. So the first thing I noticed about this one is it has a domain that's .shop. 
that's really not good for your conversions because people don't really trust anything that isn't .com or .org. I would highly recommend going with a .com domain if you can find one. Scrolling down, I noticed this item that you have on sale for 66% off. That's great. You have pretty good pictures and it looks like a decent product. One thing I would definitely change is I would have less variance right here. Generally, customers can get confused when there's too many choices and they'll end up just not buying. One thing you also need to do is arrange your variance so that it goes from 18 to 20 to 22 to 24 because that's really bugging my OCD right now. Looking at the product page, I really don't like the social proof that comes up because it doesn't make your website look professional at all and it said that you have one viewer. I mean, that's not something to brag about. Recently, Beaconing was forced to submit actual results. They can't just have a stock countdown with two items. It really has to be your real stock countdown, and that's true for your social proof too. I will remove that and possibly remove your countdown timer. Of course, you're welcome to test this yourself, but I've recently tested it and found that countdown timers really don't help your conversions. They actually hurt them in some instances. I will recommend using a stock countdown or not using a countdown timer at all. These are some pretty good quality pictures. I like that most of them have white backgrounds and they look very professional. I also kind of like this, but I will make it a little bit smaller and honestly, I wouldn't really promote that here. I would have a banner at the top that promotes free shipping. You could say something like a percentage on sale for a limited time, and then have a countdown timer enforcing that limited time. Your product description looks pretty good, and I really like how you use bullet points to highlight the important parts of the chain. I also like how you have the guaranteed save checkout button here and how you say shipping may take a few weeks due to how to man. This isn't great for conversions on your product description. I actually don't say it there, but it's necessary to have on your website. One other thing that I would change is this feature collection, because again, it looks a lot like other dropshipping sites, and you can make it a lot better by saying something like, today's sales or featured items just feature collection does not look good. One last thing is that the product prices aren't the same. See, this one's 99, this one's 96, and this one's a whole number. I would highly recommend making those all even, like all 99, because it just looks a lot better on your website. Moving on to the next one, we can see it's another domain that's not .com, which I really don't like. Just change your name if there's no .com domain available because .net really just doesn't look much better than .shop. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is this. This really just doesn't look professional at all. If you wanna advertise your free shipping, then say something like free worldwide shipping on all purchases for a limited time. Don't say capital free tracked worldwide shipping with two exclamation points because it doesn't look professional in the slightest. You have two categories, which are oil diffusers and phone accessories. So we'll look at phone accessories. By the way, I highly don't recommend selling phone accessories because they're impossible to target. But anyway, let's look at this. Again, I would highly recommend changing the colors. This actually looks really good and I like that. Definitely add a description. I don't know if it's just for this product, but you don't have a description. So we'll go look at your other ones. Your oil diffusers, that makes sense because it's Mist Maker. I don't know why you're selling this, but um, okay, we'll look at that. I really, really don't like this picture because it has a brand name in here and you always want to remove those from your site. It also doesn't have a white background, which doesn't look good with the debut themes white background. Be sure to get a description for all of your products, and I would highly recommend changing the colors as well. Also, probably change your product name because it, it just doesn't sound good. Again, there's way too many variants here, and I highly recommend having a maximum of like three or four so customers don't get like confused and leave. Moving on to the next site, 
you can see that it's another trend site which isn't bad i've seen a lot of people make a lot of money on these but you really have to be good with your marketing i don't really like this follow us banner because it's not saying what you're going to follow us on and not many people are going to click that to leave so i would just put something like free worldwide shipping or this product's on sale until this amount of time that picture isn't super high quality but it's also not bad so it looks like this is on sale that's good we'll look at the description here it's 50 percent off which i recommend doing or more if you're going to do a retail offer i would highly recommend having like a product that's 50 60 or 75 percent off or 100 because those work the best I like how you have safe checkout buttons I like how you have high quality pictures that are on white backgrounds. I also like how you don't have a billion different variants. You have three and that's really good. Your description isn't bad, but you're not really saying anything about the hat. You could say it's 100% cotton, it's made to last, and all this other stuff about the hat. You could also feature pictures of people wearing it. You also have the Powered by Shopify, which isn't a huge thing, but I usually just remove it. I like how professional your logo is and it also goes in with the colors of your site. One thing I'm noticing here is that you have brand names in your pictures. That's really not good and all you need to do usually is just contact the supplier on AliExpress, say you're a dropshipping site and ask them to remove the brand name. You also don't have a description for these. I don't know if they're new but that's huge and you really really need to have one. Looking at bracelets, I can see that there's not many that have a white background. If your supplier on AliExpress doesn't provide a picture with a white background, you can go to a website that's called Background Burner to cut off all the stuff that you don't want and you'll be left with a white background. Again, just make sure that you have a description because that's huge and it's really going to hurt your conversions if you don't. I like how you have your feedback right here, your customer reviews, even if they're not real, it looks really, really good for your website. I also have those on my website. Let's move on to the next one. So this looks like a gaming website and that can work, but I really don't like the pop-ups here. There's way too many. See, there's, I actually recommend these pop-ups. But the McAfee Secure is a little bit unnecessary and it's stacked on top of the Messenger thing, which I don't like and I don't like it popping up like this. That's just me. So one thing I'm noticing is that the cents on your prices aren't the same, which I highly recommend doing. End them all in 99 or 97 or 98, whatever. Just make sure that they're all uniform. Looking at this, I can see that you have like a 50% sale going on, which is great. One thing I'm noticing is that you have no reviews, and that just looks very bad. I would honestly uninstall the app if you're not going to put reviews on it because it doesn't look good to have zero stars. I'm not a huge fan of this theme because it puts all the pictures right here, and that doesn't look great in my opinion, especially on mobile. Your descriptions could definitely use some work, and in my opinion, there's just too much right here. The send a messenger is a little bit unnecessary, especially if you're not an established brand. I would personally explain what the controller does instead of just saying Android and Apple compatible and stylish design for comfortable grip. I like how you have an about us page and I also like how you have a refund policy and a frequently asked questions page right there. Let's check out your free product. So I highly recommend doing free plus shipping when you're just starting out because it's great to build an email list and it's also great to get traction. That's personally where I've got my first sales. Again, uninstall the reviews if you're not going to put any on there. The color, I don't really understand because that's not a color. You need to say something like volume. Instead of just putting bullet points, I would highly recommend really selling the mouse talking about what it does and what makes it so great people don't want to read a bunch of bullet points they'd rather read a simple description with a couple bullet points i'd also put this on the bottom of your description and make it a little bit smaller overall it's a pretty good site you could definitely benefit from working on your product descriptions removing the messenger app changing your prices reviews 
and maybe pictures just to make sure that they all have white backgrounds like this product does. I also like how it says free shipping on all products and you really stick to a theme with the orange bar right here, the orange add the card button, and the orange button right here. That's all for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you with building your own store. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like me to make a video on next. You guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.